This is a post from r slash self-improvement. TLDR, how to be an attractive man. Edit, the response to this has been pretty positive, so if any of you have recommendations for other books I can condense, let me know. I usually make these sorts of lists for myself as I read self-help stuff, so let me know if I can save you from wading through pages of personal examples and woo-woo magic. I read Adam Kissiel's How to Be an Attractive Man a few years back and thought it had some pretty solid advice. Some of it is common sense, but a lot of times it's easy to forget to do the obvious. The book is marketed toward men but I'm sure a lot of the advice is universal for anybody who wants to attract their friends, lovers, or just to feel more confident in themselves. If you enjoy this list, please consider buying the ebook on Amazon. P.S. I'm not Adam Kissiel. P.S.S. As with any advice, take all of these with a grain of salt. I don't follow all of the tips written here and I didn't come up with them. P.S.S.S. I paraphrase a bit in this list, and lift text directly out of the ebook in places. Regardless, all credit and ideas here go to Adam Kissiel unless I explicitly note otherwise in a parenthetical. Face. Wear a face cream with UVA slash U.V.B. Protection, at least SPF 15 every day to prevent wrinkles. It won't stop you from tanning and will keep you looking young. Groom your eyebrows once a week. Whiten your teeth, either annually at the dentist, semi-annually with a whitening kit, or, you can do it like me and swish with hydrogen peroxide every night. Use a night face cream with tretinoin or any other similar retinoid. This is, again, to prevent wrinkles. Be honest about your hair. If it's receding, don't try to hide it. If you're balding, just go for a buzz cut or the full shave. If it's thinning and you're not ready to let it go, keep it short. Embrace who you is. My own interjection, but if you're male and can afford it, opt for a barber shop rather than a salon. Barbers make a living cutting men's hair. Sleep 7 to 8 hours night. Keep a regular sleep schedule. If you wear glasses, match them to your face size. Rule of thumb. Frame shape contrasts the shape of your face, frame size should match the size of your face. Go for simple, classic looks. Cut your nose hair once a week. Wash your face in cold water every day. A good burst of full cold water in the shower should do ya. Stop touching your face. It gives you acne, and leads to scarring if you're picking at acne, and makes you look insecure. Body. Eat right. Figure out what this means for you. Eat more real protein, more vegetables, fresh fruit, and whole, unprocessed grains. Cut down on the fried food. Track what you put in your body, if it helps. Stop eating sweets and snacks all of the time. Let the treats be treats. Drink a lot of water. I'm a 160 pounds, 6 feet 0 inches male, fairly active, and I can usually put down 3 liters a day if I put my mind to it. Buy a nice reusable water bottle and take it with you everywhere. If you drink, opt for wine over beer. In moderation, it's good for the heart, less calorific than beer, and pairs with quality food. If the weather is tolerable and walking slash biking is an option, then walk or bike. Good rule of thumb is if you can get there in 20 minutes or less walking or biking, then walk slash bike. Exercise. Just start with two days a week, an hour a day. You can do cardio or you can lift. You can go on hikes. You can bike. You can skate. Just move. Speaking of exercise, go to the gym if you can afford it. You'll have access to a ton of equipment and the atmosphere can serve to push you harder. Also a great place to meet people. Eat protein after you work out. Note, I'm not sure about the validity of this one. Anyone care to confirm this or raise evidence to the contrary? Take care of your feet. Cut your toenails regularly, use foot cream once a week or so, and wash them when you shower. Get in the habit of walking with a straight back. You can do this by strengthening the muscles in your back, pull-ups with wide and pronated grip are a good one for this, and by reminding yourself to straighten your back throughout the day. Get rid of the belly. It's basic physics every body, burn more energy than you consume. Sweets, soda, beer, simple carbs, all enemies. Do some running. Even once a week is fine. Don't make it a chore, enjoy it. You can sprint, you can jog, you can alternate between walking and running, whatever. Your body was made for this. Include shoulder exercises in your workouts. Muscular shoulders are a big part of the quintessential manly appearance. Stop smoking. I don't think I need to list the reasons why. If you can't quit, switch to vaping. Personality. Read at least one book a month. 
Surely there is something you've been meaning to read? Go to a bookstore or a library. Download the ebook. On this subject, memorize the titles and authors of books that you've read. If it comes up, you'll sound like you know what you're talking about. Travel. Get out and see whatever it is you can see. Let your scope expand to your budget. If money is tight, become a local expert on cool places near you. Instead of buying stuff, spend your money doing cool stuff. If people want to be around you because of your stuff, then they aren't really friends. Be empathetic toward others. Think about the interests, feelings, and motivations of others frequently. Be dependable. When your friends or family need you, be there. It's the right thing. Keep up to date on what's going on around you. This way when you're on a date, with friends, or just bored, you'll know what's going on and where to be. Do things you enjoy, often. Do things that make you happy. Mix up your entertainment. If you play games all of the time, go see a play. If you're always out with your friends, read a book. Stimulate your brain with variety. The world isn't going to come to you. Don't stay at home too much. Be where other people are. Make stuff happen. Most people tend to be afraid of initiating things, so be the one to set something in motion. Call your friends. Invite people out. Learn some cool go to places to take friends, visiting family, dates, clients, etc. Have a good coffee shop, restaurant, bar, park, etc. Know your city. Expanding on this, know some cool hole in the wall places to take people. Take people somewhere they likely would not have visited if it weren't for you. Only ever use pickup lines if A. You're trying to be funny, B. You can pull it off, and C. It isn't the only idea you have for conversation. Just be yourself. Don't be fake. Stop swearing all of the time. Use precision F-bombs instead of a barrage of swear words. Mind. Be self-confident. Even if you're just faking it, because everybody else likely is too, smile, relax, and keep your composure. Don't fall prey to analysis paralysis. Take action. Pursue it and hope for the best. Try things for yourself, have your own opinions, and express them openly without any fear. Don't follow the majority because everybody is doing it, and don't reject what is popular just because everybody likes it. Base your actions and decisions on what you find right. Embrace challenges. When tasked with something that you've never done before, or that you don't know how to do, don't just give up. Try it, and try your best. Worst case scenario, you've gained some experience. Stop thinking negatively all the time. You're going to fail in life. Probably a lot. That's just probability, but that's also the cost of success. When you do fail, don't be dissuaded from trying again. Take your newfound knowledge and experience and make a more educated crack at it. If you want to meet somebody, be the one to make the first move. It's better to try and to fail than to dwell on the what if. Be aware of attractiveness isolation. It is the phenomena in which attractive, or intelligent, creative, talented, etc. People intimidate others so much that they give up right away, thinking there is no chance to appeal to them. If you think somebody is too whatever for you, try getting to know them anyway. You may be one of the few who try and hopefully succeed. Know what you want and be decisive. Remember that you have to come first in your own life, unless, you know, kids. Don't rely on stereotypes. The main function of stereotyping is making one feel better about oneself by depreciating others. An attractive man feels well because he knows his own qualities, so don't comfort yourself by the perceived flaws of others. Remember that people are people, with their own motivations, desires, fears, prejudices, thoughts, and inner worlds. They are not categorized objects and they are not devices to be used. Treat people as people, justly and with respect. Get closer to the people and things that make you smile and laugh. Laugh daily. It's healthy and everybody finds cheerful people more interesting than depressing people. It's infectious. Remember that you're never too old for anything. If there is something you would like to do, then do it. When other people talk, listen with your full attention. Be confident enough to truly be present and listen to people. Don't use the other person's turn in the conversation to think about what you plan to say next. If you really need to think before you speak, take a pause. You don't have to gab any time there's a silence. Clothing. Note, I don't follow some of the pricier or more fashion-forward tips here as I'm an undergrad student living off of student loans, but follow what you can if it suits you. Change your underwear to black. Wear boxer briefs or something shorter if you prefer, whatever you feel comfortable in. Avoid boxer shorts covered with fun patterns. 
match your socks to your pants, and throw away socks with holes. Wear clothes with fit. This is the single most important principle in the area of clothing. Try on clothes before you buy them. Pants should stay in place without a belt and should brush against your shoes. Shirts and jackets should fit well on the shoulders and as narrow in the waist as is possible without reducing comfort. Blazers are a classic, timeless piece of male clothing. They fit a variety of looks and can be worn no matter the weather, just stick with lighter fabrics in the summer. And remember, always leave the bottom button unbuttoned. Have at least three white shirts. You can wear them under jackets and blazers, and with the right trousers and shoes, a white shirt can give you a great classy summer look. Always opt for long sleeves when you can, as you can always roll the sleeves up. Have at least one pair of classic, elegant Oxford dress shoes. Black are the most versatile. Always dress just a little bit better than the situation requires. Don't overdress or underdress. Find a good watch. Don't waste money on something cheap. If you can't afford something that you're happy with, then save until you can. Note, the author says to avoid digital but I like my Apple Watch. Make your own choices. Take proper care of your shoes. Shoe maintenance keeps shoes alive and saves you money, as does buying higher quality shoes that won't wear out as quickly. If you have time, clean and polish your shoes weekly. With sports shoes, just toss them in the washing machine and set it so slow spin mode. When finished, put some old newspaper inside and let them dry out. Match your clothes by color. Try to follow the two-color rule, a main color and secondary color. Two-thirds of your outfit should have the main color, the rest the secondary color, white and blacks excluded. Avoid looking like you have been trying too hard with your clothing. Remember that the best-dressed people look completely at ease, and like they just happen to put on things that look cool, not like they've obsessed over it. When going to an event with a partner, in business, friendship, or love, dress to match them. Don't underdress when they're in a suit and tie. Conversely, don't show up in a full suit when they're in shorts and t-shirt. Avoid wearing clothing that are only intended for special tasks. Hiking boots are for hiking, flip-flops are for the pool. Next time you shop for clothes, bring a brutally honest friend with you to give advice. Don't ask sales associates, they are there to make commission, no shame. If your friend tells you you don't look perfect, don't be offended. They are helping you. If you can, pay or for long-term clothing like suits, jackets, coats, and shoes. Go for quality, and keep it simple and classic so it doesn't go out of style. Wear your formal clothing around the house every once in a while, so you look natural and comfortable in it. That way at weddings and funerals, you won't be adjusting your suit jacket or tripping over your heels every 5 minutes. If you are short, don't wear long coats and jackets. If you are tall, don't wear short coats or jackets. Unless you're into the funhouse mirror effect. Twice a year, Move the clothes from the back of your wardrobe to the front. You may rediscover stuff you've forgotten about. Or you may find stuff you don't like that a thrift store or charity would love. Don't wear sandals with socks. Just. Don't. Hygiene and grooming. Take a shower every day. Buy a body scrub, get some simple soap, and scrub your body, especially chest, armpits, groin, butt, and feet. You can wash your hair every other day, but shampoo it when it gets greasy. Eliminate bad breath. In addition to flossing and brushing daily, be sure to brush or scrape your tongue. If you have white discoloration on your tongue, you most likely have bad breath. Brush that junk off. Remove excessive body hair. You don't have to be as smooth as the day you were born, but it isn't the 70s anymore. Easiest way is to get an electric razor with guards, put the guard on it, stand in the shower with the water off and shave until everything is even. Use Google as tips for anything further. Always use deodorant, and find a cologne that suits you. Splurge on this if you can. When you do find your cologne, use it daily. People will start to associate this smell with you. You should probably get rid of any back hair. You can wax, use an electric hair remover, or opt for permanent hair removal if you can afford it. I just shave off the little bit of fuzz I get on my lower back, so I don't have a ton of experience here. Clean your ears, including trimming hair poking out of them. Wash your bedclothes at minimum once a month. The more frequently, the better. Do it on as high a temperature possible to kill bacteria. Fight excessive perspiration. If deodorant isn't cutting it, ask your doctor about professional antiperspirants. Have a few towels and change them at least once a week. Always keep a fresh spare too, in case someone who is over needs one. Launder them frequently. You can wash these with your bedclothes, in high temperatures. Don't use cheap razors. 
Go for normal, that's non-electric, razors with sharp and durable blades. If you use cosmetics, make sure they are made for your skin type and tone. It's 2017, men can and do use cosmetics. A sunscreen with a bit of tone works wonders for covering up acne. Living Habits Learn a sport. If you have a friend to do it with, do it together. If not, find something you can do solo. It doesn't have to be every day, it just has to be regular. It can be anything, as long as it's something that you will look forward to when it comes around. Go to the theater at least once every three months. Theater is a broad form, you don't have to go see a musical at your local high school. There are raunchy comedies, dark and gritty thrillers, and everything in between. This assumes you live in a large enough city to have access to good theater. Do as many ordinary daily activities as you can outdoors. Eat outdoors. Read a book in the park. Go on a walk with your business partner instead of meeting in the office. Have a hobby. Or two. What turns you on? What makes you feel alive, excited, thrilled? What keeps you up at night? Find that and do it. Learn how to cook. Obviously you can never completely learn how to cook, but take the time to learn a few basic skills that will allow you to throw some meals together. When around others who are familiar with cooking, watch them as they do it and ask them questions about it. Explore music genres that are different from your favorite one. Ask a friend for their five favorite albums. Listen to the bests out of different genres. I think this should apply to media in general. Books, movies, games, just keep exploring. If you can afford it and you really like animals, adopt one from a shelter. Be responsible for it, feed it, groom it, make sure it gets proper medical care, and make a new best friend. Drink more alcohol but in smaller amounts at a sitting. Get buzzed and sociable instead of wasted and incoherent. Know your limits. Clean your home once a week. A pleasant looking home makes you feel a lot better and look a lot better. Also helps in case of an unexpected guest. Get rid of things you do not use. There are many decluttering methods out there. I like the KonMari method. Assign a separate bin slash section of closet for clothes that you have already worn but are still clean enough to wear again. Try to diversify income sources. Easier said than done. But if you can find a way to make even a tiny bit of money doing something you really like to do, and you already have a sufficient main income, then make that side income. Get rid of services that suck up your wallet. How many online services are you subscribed to? How many of them do you use? How many of them do you need? Cut the cords and pay fewer bills. Do not watch porn. Be someone who meets real people. Pornography is an unsatisfactory substitute and a completely unrealistic one to boot. I know this is a controversial one. I am of the belief that pornography makes it more difficult for me to appreciate people in the real world, warts and all. Treat yourself every once in a while. If there's something you really want to do, have, or experience but, you feel it is too expensive or unnecessary just do it. Life is about spending your time in pleasant and meaningful ways. The Mysterious Rule Number 101 You skimmed through this list. Now do it. Make a plan. Choose which of these ideas you want to follow, and set them in motion. It doesn't have to be all at once, but if that's your fancy, then dive in. A bit anticlimactic. Please, please, please. Op and people reading this. Do not swish hydrogen peroxide every day. This stuff is aggressive. I don't care if your teeth are blacker than the darkness in your ex's heart. Once a week slash twice a month is already a lot. Brush your teeth thoroughly twice slash thrice a day, avoid darkening food and stuff, coffee, tea, smoking. Source, PhD in chemistry, bitch. Other than that, great list. I am working on several points out of it, started going to woodworking class to learn a hobby, meet people, learn something valuable for my house slash life skills, and get outside CCC combo. Read as regularly as I can, improve on my personal hygiene. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Experimental Journeys.